Hello everybody, back here for the first time in a while for a video which I may or may not be making more in the near future. So here I'm going to show you how to install Arch with a dual boot of Windows in under 5 minutes. So the first thing I show you how to do is if you are doing a fresh install of Windows first, you just boot off the USB drive and then in the partition manager, which after you select the addition of Windows and agree it to the EULA, you click custom install, find your drive, and assuming it's new, it should be unallocated space, and you select how much of that space you'd like to use for your Windows install. Leaving the rest as just unallocated space for Linux. So this is all you have to do in Windows if you're installing it. If you already have an install of Windows and still want to do this, you can open the Partition Manager, find your drive under the disks. Uh, you pr won't see the unallocated space. You just see your big partition. Right-click, click Shrink, and that's all you have to do. Um, next, installing Arch, you want to ping Google, see if you have internet. If you don't, you can do IWCTL and then do station list to see your network devices and then station network device so WLAN 0 so example connect and then your name and then it'll ask for a password and then control C to exit out of it um, if you get stuck in a ping you can do control C to exit too then we do BOKID to see our disks or this BOK find the root drive what you want to do that has the partitions on it you should see some Windows ones then you do F disk the link, the directory to your drive, and then we can do P to print out our partitions on it, and then we can do N to make a new partition, select, you may or may not get the primary, if not, don't worry about it, select primary if you have it, select how big you want it, leaving defaults for everything but the last sector, uh, take note of what drive, what partition it is, since we're going to need it later, once we're out of it, we are going to actually partition those. We're going to do make file system dot btrfs or ext4 if you want to do that. The link, the directory to that partition, that should be your big one, what you do for main, because you need to make two, one gigabyte one and one however big you want the rest of it to be. Then you make your one gigabyte partition a dot vfat. Then we run arch install. You can just go through this pretty quick, everything's self-explanatory, set your MIA region, set disk layout, select your profile, you can find our videos that go over this really quickly too. Then we select the disk and the disk layout. Then we are, all we have to do is assign our partitions to it. So your one gigabyte one, should it, you should assign it to slash boot. And your big one, you should assign to slash, which will be your root. Then you just press enter, wait for the countdown. It will say it's formatting it, but it won't actually format the entire drive. It will install everything, go through, and that is it. After the install is done, you should be able to just reboot your system after removing the media, your boot media, and it will take your on to Arch. That's basically it. If you have questions, leave them down below.